Welcome everyone to Gamer Mill. Today brings us quite a bit of news, from an upcoming GTX 1660 Ti, which may sound familiar if you've been following the channel, to a 14 core i9 9990XE. But first, check out today's sponsor, Mastrop. They're a group buy website with some amazing deals on gaming hardware. It's free to sign up, and they've got new deals all the time, so check that out in the description below. So first up for today, it looks like we've got an update on the GTX 1160, or wait, Video Cards is actually reporting that it's called the GTX 1660 Ti, which like I said before, could sound a little familiar if you followed the channel. And that's because I did a video when both X Preview and Video Cards first reported on an upcoming GTX version of the RTX 2060. And at the time, Video Cards was calling it the GTX 1160, while X Preview had it pegged as the GTX 1660 Ti. Now, I thought that seemed a little odd, but Video Cards is now stating that two of their unfortunately unnamed sources, as well as the one they got this graphic from, are all saying it'll be called the GTX 1660 Ti. Not only that, but Video Cards learned some of its specs. According to them, it will still include 6GB of GDDR6, as well as no RT or Tensor cores, which we all mostly assumed was the point. But, instead of the 1920 CUDA cores in the RTX 2060, it actually comes with 1536 CUDA cores. Yeah, that's a 20% decrease, which is definitely not small. I mean, yeah, the 3 gigabyte variant comes with fewer cores, but this already has no RT or Tensor cores, which should definitely help to bring the cost down for a cheaper model. With that said, it does make some sense at least. If they do end up releasing GTX variants across the board, they'd likely cannibalize ray tracing to the point where no gain comes with it, ultimately screwing the early buyers of their RTX variants. Of course, this is ultimately just a rumor, though video cards is about as reliable as it gets. Plus, there could be something we're not seeing, like the potential for higher clocks now that the cores for ray tracing are gone. Who knows? The next story for today brings us over to Anantech, who shared a really weird rumor, specifically that they've heard from multiple sources about a new 14-core Intel i9 CPU with a boost clock of 5 GHz. It's called the i9-9990XE, and if you were like me, you're probably already confused. Hey Mel, this sounds a hell of a lot like the i9-9980XE, but that's an 18-core CPU. And you're right, representation of my entire audience that oddly sounds just like me. If this story is correct, Intel decided their CPU lineup just isn't confusing enough. Screw any kind of continuity, right? Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. One demerit Intel. Anyway, don't quit just yet because the confusion doesn't stop there. Also, according to Anatech, this CPU is listed as off roadmap, meaning it won't be sold in retail. Instead, Intel plans to only sell it to system makers, so you can't get one for your PC. To top it off, they aren't giving any kind of warranty or guaranteeing any numbers. Basically, this is likely a Super Bin i9-9940X, since it is a 2066 socket for the Enthusiast X299 motherboards. Lastly for today, we're offering more confirmation that AMD won't offer OEMs the chance at third-party Radeon 7 cards. But what's even crazier is that they don't seem to be planning on selling all that many cards anyway. According to a tweet town source, AMD plans to make less than 5,000 Radeon 7 graphics cards. Not only that, but according to this, they're actually losing money on every card sold since they're merely repurposing Instinct MI50s. And I will say that the MI50Bs does seem to be true since AMD confirmed that these do in fact only have 64 ROPs, versus some earlier reports of it having 128. Basically, while I highly doubt AMD plans to release a successor to the Radeon 7 this year, this is likely a stopgap to remain competitive in the higher end until they can produce something more viable. Of course, we have thought this before, so who knows? So while that does it for today, what do you think the GTX 1660 Ti will cost? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, definitely make sure to subscribe for more. And as always, have a great day.